the wonderful thing about tiggers is tiggers are wonderful things. Their tops are made out of rubber. Their bottoms are made out of springs. They're bouncy, flouncy, trouncy, bouncy, fun, for fun, for fun. The wonderful, wonderful thing about tiggers is I'm the only one. I'm the only one. Ow. <laughs>Welcome back to Everyday's Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Everyday's Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about the Tigger movie. The Tigger movie is a 2000 theatrical release. It is written and directed by June Falkenstein Stein. Cinematography by Alan Davio. Supervising animators include Takashi Aramura, Hiroshi Kawamata, Jean Maxim Paramon, and Kenichi Tsuchiya. Editing is by Robert Fisher Jr. and the music is by Harry Gregson Williams. I've covered Jean Falkenstein, Takeshi, and Hiroshi in previous videos. They'll be listed and linked in the description. Ellen DeVio is best known for The Color Purple, Bugsy, E.T., and Empire of the Sun. Jean Maxim Paramon is best known for Jennifer's Shadow, Bionic 6, Julia X, and Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest. Kenichi Suchia is best known for Memories, Weathering With You, The Garden of Words, and Your Name. Robert Fisher Jr. is best known for The Lego Movie, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, Murder in Small Town X and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Harry Gregson Williams is best known for Man on Fire, The Chronicles of Narnia, The Martian, and Shrek. I have covered everyone that stars in this movie except two people, so I'm just gonna list and link the others in the description. It's all the highlights, all the classic people we've been covering since, I mean forever, but also since Pooh's Grand Adventure and then Pooh's Seasons of Giving. It's all the same cast except these two people I haven't covered, which is just Kath Susie and Tom Attenborough. Kath Susie plays Kanga and is best known for Captain Planet and the Planet Tears. Zootopia, Futurama, and Rugrats. Tom Attenborough plays Christopher Robin and is best known for the Harry Potter computer games, Hide and Seek, and this. Paul Winchell was the original voice of Tigger, was supposed to be the voice of Tigger in this film, but after one recording session, they deemed his voice had gotten too raspy to be Tigger. So they had Jim Cummings come in, who had done the singing for Tigger in the past, so they just had him come in to do the voice for the film. But the Disney Imagineers decided to pull Paul Winchell to do some Tigger lines for the Winnie the Pooh ride in Disney World. And that was his last appearance as Tigger before he retired in 1999 and then eventually passed away in 2005. The film had a 15 to $30 million budget and it made $96 million in the box office. Not great, not horrible. It has a 62% around tomatoes and was considered fun and charming and lovely just like Winnie the Pooh always is, except that it wasn't considered as technologically advanced as its predecessors. There are many sequels to this film, not specifically to like the Tigger movie, but I mean there's, I think it's like Piglet's Big Movie or something, and then there's the Christopher Robin movie that came out, there's another Winnie the Pooh movie that came out I think in like 2011 or something, so there's many sequels and spin-offs because you know it's all in the Winnie the Pooh universe so um and there's always many of those because they're so great and also this was originally supposed to be direct to video but once Michael Eisner heard the music by the Sherman Brothers he decided to make it a theatrical release this movie came for my entire life I don't know what it okay let's start with I'm pretty sure I saw this in theaters when I was very young I would have been I would have been like well, if it was right at the beginning of 2000, I would have been six, going on seven. So um, I was probably prime age group for the Tigger movie. And I remember seeing it, um, and I, I'm pretty sure in the theater, and then I th we owned it, I'm pretty sure, but I don't remember watching it a lot. So, but I do know I've seen it. So watching down and wa watching down, <laughs> sitting down and watching this, was weird because I didn't remember any of the plot, but I remembered so many visuals and I remembered like certain feelings, but I remembered a lot of visuals and it was weird to like remember visuals but not have any like connection to plot at all. So that was a very strange experience. These, I don't know what it is about Winnie the Pooh, okay? Like I got, like I remember loving the first Winnie the Pooh movie and loving Pooh's Grand Adventure. I, ne I didn't watch this nearly as much as I watched those two movies, so I was not expecting this to make me emotional like the other two did. This wrecked my life. This was good. I mean, like, it's not the most fantastic Winnie the Pooh story of all time, obviously. But, like, 
it got me right in the heart, man. And I cried and it was really good. A couple things that were like clever plays on words and just jokes that made me actually giggle as an adult were Tiggerjectory. Like the fact that he say, changed trajectory to Tiggerjectory. That got me, that got a good laugh out of me because I was like, okay, Tigger, just like change everything to about you. And then the other thing that made me laugh was when he said half of, um, he said half of the jump is 90% mental. <laughs> just like, that made me laugh a lot because half of the jump is 90% mental. That's hilarious. Um, and then the art in this film, I can't believe people consider this not as technical logically advanced because the background paintings in this film are so stunning like seriously there were so many shots where i was like with the characters in the frame and then take them out as well this is a beautiful painting and i would just want to hang this in my house like it was the background art was stunning like period so gorgeous then Tigger sings a song about the Tigger family and they do a lot of like parodies of very famous works of art. So they'd have like Van Gogh and Picasso and Andy Warhol and like they did a lot of famous um, homages or parodies, you could say, of those arts but with Tiggers in them. And I thought that was very cool because, you know, kids might not pick up on that, but the adults will definitely pick up on that. And I thought that was so fun. I Like, you know, I, I don't remember that from when I was a kid, but... As a six-year-old, I definitely did not know about Van Gogh and Andy Warhol, you know what I mean? But it even had like the 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 clocks melting. That's Picasso, right? Right? Picasso did the melting clocks? Or was it a D? No, Picasso did the melt. I don't know. No, Picasso did the who did the melting clocks? Let's start with a D. I'm gonna have to look at that one of those. Anyway, point is. This was really good. The whoop de doop de super whatever bounce they want, whatever they call it, has major perfect cast vibes from a goofy movie. Like the fact that Rue wants to do it is a little different because obviously Max had no interest in doing the perfect cast, but when it comes, like the fact that there is something in the family, like the whoop de doop de super bounce and the perfect cast, and then in a time of extreme emergency, they use it to save the father figure or brother figure or whatever figure um, is like the same. So that felt very like a call and homage to a goofy movie, which was also very fun. When Tigger says TTFE, Tata forever, I got straight chills, like, which is silly, but it was just something about Jim Cummings' delivery and the buildup in the story. Just, oh, it was, it was good. It was good. I really enjoyed this. I thought this was very good. It surprised me. I didn't think I was gonna cry. I didn't think I was gonna be that impressed. And here I am sitting here like, wow, that was really good. So that's everything I have for the Tigger movie. Highly recommend. It's on Disney Plus. Uh, that was great. I enjoyed that. I should definitely put that on like my Winnie the Pooh repertoire, repertoire if you will. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, my final rating is seven. Let's do, no, I think I've done lockets recently. So let's do, let's do, I mean, I would say Tiggers, but that's copyrighted. But maybe I'll just do that. Seven Tiggers out of 10. Our total movie count is. Our cry count is. <laughs> Parent Dutch is still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. I have a tier starting at just $1 a month and we're getting kind of close to Celebration Month. So you should go over there because some exciting stuff is going to happen in Patreon for Celebration Month. So you might want to join. Just saying. Buy merch. The new Parent Dutch is still been out and some exciting new merch might be coming. I don't know. <laughs> uh yeah until next time comment like subscribe and i'm sure if you are a studio and don't be there is no one evil so be one of the blue characters about it they're so sweet <laughs> i want to say it starts with a d dolly Oh my god.